Dr. Rock, being an alchemist, you stand at the forefront of uh, where science and mysticism or spirituality meets. Uh, can you tell us how current, you know, modern minds now, do you think that there's a good chance that uh, people are being more aware of, of, of alchemy and maybe accepting it? Oh, I think so. I think there is emergence here between traditions mm -hmm. taking place. Not necessarily alchemy, but all the hermetic traditions, uh, religion and science. And you can see it if you, you know, went through the text over the years and see how they come together, especially the ideas of quantum mechanics and, uh, and the Big Bang. The Big Bang was described in the Emerald Tablet almost to a T. I mean, it's, it's, it's scary sometimes on how the dynamics of how the universe works was described in simple language. Uh, long before we were discovering uh, uh, so much about the fundamental ways that, that uh, the universe works. And quantum mechanics has introduced consciousness into the equation. If you look at, for instance, the equation of the universe, AE equals MC squared. Um, the alchemists uh, back in the Middle Ages, they didn't really have a, uh, a name for energy. Uh, they, they used terms like spirits. You know, a, a spirit would move things, uh, or the or the spirit of something would cause a change. But that was energy they were talking about. And sometimes they coded it in words like sulfur, which is brimstone with the burning stone that catches fire and, and burns and is so active. So they knew about energy. They worked with energy. They knew about matter, which they usually called salt, and how. Uh, different kinds of matter came about through operations of transformation. And they knew about light, uh, which is the C in that equation, and, the, and how that f fundamental idea comes into the equation. The alchemists believed, and the Emerald Tablet kind of implies that, that consciousness is a force of nature. Uh, and that quantum mechanics now, after we've gotten beyond traditional uh, Newtonian physics, has introduced consciousness as a force of nature, too, uh, in different experiments. So if that little C uh, stood for consciousness, there'd be no difference between alchemy and modern physics, uh, how the, the dynamics of what's going on there. So there is a mer merging together, coming together. There's different terms being used. But really, um, and I talk with quantum physicists all the time, uh, Nassim Harriman, which has some really cutting edge ideas, Goswami and others, uh, David Bohm, uh, they all talk about alchemy uh, as being a, a description of nature that has, uh, should be more appreciated.